Hello! By this time, next month, we will be celebrating the summer solstice Litha, which it, it lands, uh, I believe, June 20th, and this is the longest day of the year. Um, a few things that we could do um, in honor of it, in honor of the sun god, uh, would be go outside, take a walk in nature, get a pamphlet that has um, that has to do with like uh, the meaning of birds, meaning of plants, and things like that, and take it with you on a nature walk. Um, another, another thing is you could uh, uh, hold a, a bonfire. Uh, that's one way to celebrate. Um, and just have fun with family and friends in the outdoors. Even if it's somewhat warm. Um, a lot of us live in warmer states, but uh, but just, just something to celebrate that summer solstice. It doesn't matter if you haven't celebrated anything before. If you're new um, to the path, you got to start someplace. Uh, and I believe these small solstices uh, would be a good way to just to just get out there and just uh, break out of your of your comfort zone, break out of, um, of everything that's holding you back, and just boom. Go for it. If Wicca is what calls to you, it's a good way to start. Um, so just spend a, a lot of your time outdoors and just feel the energies and sit on the grass, watch the birds, watch the, all the little animals run around, run around everywhere. Um, another good thing, hold a cleaning ritual. Um, this is a good day this would be a good day, um, or that would be a good day, to, to just clean from ceiling to ground, to clean your entire home. Just, I mean everything. I mean kitchen and bathrooms and uh, bed sheets and all the clothes and vacuum and mop and uh, even like scrub the corners and the baseboards and the window seals, everything. When you clean your home and it's all like, oh, yay, no mess, it just feels so much better. Right after everything is clean, that means spotless. Um, good. Uh, just say, say a blessing, say a little prayer. You'll need some salt, some sage, maybe some incense if you like, light some candles. Um, just go around the house with a, a sage a smudging stick go around the house and whatever just calls to you say just say I believe I have one here this is what a smudging stick looks like it smells really 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 good just go around the corners of your house in the middle of the walls just walk around every single room preferably starting from, um, from the door and the ending at the door just cleanse the room. Say all negativity, all negative energies are not allowed in this room. Uh, just uh, cast out any any bad, bad energies you do not want in that room. Um, and uh, just allow the good energies to flow. When you are vacuuming, I don't know if I mentioned this in the video or not. I completely forgot. But vacuuming is a good way to uh, loosen up those negative energies because over time not only does dust collect in your home uh, but also let's say all the stress that you've felt maybe there's like a financial crisis or there was just um, fights with family members or just arguments with your kids all of those energies that uh, kind of like not so good energies negative energies build up so just, just they're little negative dust bunnies um, which is all also why it's a good idea to clean your home on a regular basis, not just for, so it could look pretty, but so you could just have positive energies flowing. Um, 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 where was I going? Okay, vacuuming the vibrations of a vacuum, whether you have um, carpet or hardwood, that just breaks up all those negative energies that are, have been building up in there, and um. If you really focus on vacuuming, like sometimes we just try to get it done really, really fast. If you really focus and feel the vibrations 
and just feel feel all, all of that, you'll notice that you'll feel so much better. If one day you're just sitting at, at, in your home and just all of a sudden you just feel like, oh, I don't feel good today. Mm. Uh, then try vacuuming. Try vacuuming. All that vibrations will like move energies everywhere. It'll lift up your spirits and, and try it. Um, your kids' bedrooms. Uh, kids don't like to clean <laughs> a lot of times. And it is a good idea to to let them clean their own bedrooms, but sometimes if they're, let's say they're like 8, 9, 10, 12 years old, and um, all, of a, all of a sudden they're just like, they're really depressed, they get really depressed, get down, and they're not so sure why, you don't know why, ask them to vacuum. Ask them to vacuum, or if it's something that's really bothering them, clean their room for that through that one time or those few times clean their room because clutter just messes with your energies you can't have positive positive energies flowing when you have a big pile of clutter there that's stopping it from flowing so um go into their room and just clean it and see if they feel better a lot of times it does help believe me it does um so uh gardening gardening is also a good thing uh, to do to celebrate with that or to, to just do now. It's a great time to plant sage and thyme and magical herbs that you'll be using. Um, and it, it's just amazing <laughs> when you garden and you just, your hands are in the earth and you feel all the energies and like, um, what else, what else, what else? I believe anything that you want, you could decorate your altar um, uh, according to the summer summer solstice just anything that would help um, ha anything that would help you celebrate and honor the Sun God sometimes on this path um, we tend to focus more on the goddess which is love the goddess lover lover um, but we have to re remember that there's two two parts. There's always a male and a female. And just remember that. I know a lot of us have um, come to this path because they don't um, uh, one male deity type of religion is was not what called to them. And I know the goddess was what called to me. She, female. Like, she understands me. <laughs> um, so, but just, just this is a good time of year to uh, spend a little more time focusing on the sun god as well. Um, in a ritual, in, when you're casting a circle, focus on not only the goddess. Don't ask um, ask just the goddess for things. Also focus on god, the male counterpart. So, I um, hope this gives you a little insight and a few ideas to do. I'll be uh, posting a few more ideas. Just my daughter's waking up right now and I have to go feed her. Um, but uh, I hope this helps, and just write down all your ideas on a little piece of paper, um, and start, uh, start, what's the word? Make that first step. You're all excited about, um, Wicca, you're all excited about paganism. The transition is not an overnight thing, but you do gotta break out of your, se of your shell. You could read all the books that you want. I have a good collection of books in the library. You could read everything online and you can even gather all the tools and buy all these tools and make your own athame or make your own boline or make uh, make your own book of shadows. But if you don't practice <laughs> you'll, you'll never get better um, at what you want to do. So practice, practice, practice. Um, even if it's just a small thing, practice the going outside and grounding and centering to be one with the earth. Um, do a small little dream spell to uh, remember your dreams. Um, dream work is just wonderful. Really good thing to start out with if you're new um, and you, just, you don't really know where to start. Get a pendulum. Get a pendulum. Um, 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 connect yourself with it. 
every single day, use your pendulum, every, whatever tool you have, use it constantly. Maybe not every day if you can't, but um, uh, on a weekly basis, just continue using it. Because that's the only way you'll uh, build a strong connection with your tool, with your tarot deck, with your uh, anything you have. So, oops. Phone's buzzing. Um, 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 uh, I, if you need any help looking for certain books um, or where to start, uh, just message me and I'll be happy to help you uh, every way I can. So, uh, have a beautiful morning and blessed be.